All right. Good afternoon, chat. Good afternoon. Happy Friday. We're finally at the end of the week. The end of the week. Did anybody figure out the new uh main menu? Uh uh thing. There's gotta be one, right? I haven't really looked that hard. Hmm. What could it be, chat? I feel like it's gotta be like one of these wobbly pieces. But you know us? No, that's not new. Huh. Hmm. No, that was from 1.5. You, like, clicked on the knots and make it fall? No. Freeze. Stars would be fucking wild if you have to find the specific star. Are you canceling? Wonder what it is. I mean, as soon as I see it, it's gonna be so obvious. It's like, why did I think of that? But at the same time, it's just like. I don't really want to spend time here just like clicking randomly and hoping that I find it. NCA said NCA said he added something. I, I mean he's added a new menu like thing every single time. So it's like I'd assume he added one. I just don't know what it is. There, there's a little like face right here. This has probably always been here, but I just noticed there's a face right here. There. Co-op one. Co-op doesn't really have a menu. Not not the main menu that we're talking about. The face and the S2. Oh, there is. <laughs> huh. I'm I'm sure I'm sure it'll be found at some point. I'm just not gonna dedicate my life to it right now. I rather play the game. Oh, uh, but happy Friday. We are gaming. Um Yeah, we're back to making money. I'm pretty sure there was something that I need to do by the end of this week in in game. I just don't know what it is. I'm, I'm gonna have to get my bearings. Ah, uh, yes. Fragments. I gotta do fragments of the past. Um... I already got all the geos that I need. I think I just gotta do fragments of the past. Let's go do that real quick. I don't care about buying magic rock candy right now. I don't think I need it for anything. Artifact. 
artifacts. I'm very curious about how the artifact spot is going to affect speedruns here. I should honestly disable this fairy so people will stop asking me, how do you get the fairy? Just ignore the fairy. Play the game. Get a mod that hides it. <laughs> the fairy is so funny though. Vivian Fossil is pretty fog to get. Fairy is pretty cute. Apparently there's more than just the fairy. Oh, I love how much faster that transition is. Wait, I got three amphibium fossils. Nani. Um. A quick seizure warning, chat. Even though I don't, I don't think it will be as bad because it. The thing was fixed. I forgot that it's not bad anymore. Two gold bars, 50 stone, and a diamond. The gold bars kind of sucks. I feel like he needs so much more ore now. Um... All right, we're good on that. I'm going to switch these over to jades because I... I need a bunch of jades for when I go and eviscerate the diamond or the dino population again. So that's what that is for. Um, I have those trees growing over there. Done that, done that. Uh, I guess I'm gonna go back to the main farm, so I should probably open up these golden coconuts real quick. Oh, I quick sorted those. Uh, I do not have a quick warp. I have any bones in here anywhere? Not really. Okay. Um, I guess I'll pop a monster musk for this. Screw it. Oh, I need it all, all day. Okay, so I need a fossilized skull, ideally, from one of these. Really all I'm looking for. Cool. Go one more. Let's get rid of it. Can't wait to see what you'll do uh, on 1.6 challenge speed run. Cal, thank you for the 19. Can't wait for you to see what you do. Yeah, I mean. This run is definitely not the embodiment of speed, but we're gaming. Did CA change those guys' uh, drops? Because I feel like they used to not give that. I don't remember them ever giving both of that. <laughs> Both dark and solar essence. That's just me. I gotta kill 50 of these guys, so I'm just gonna keep going. I'm gonna need to buy a few more salads soon. I know this fairy will keep me most mostly healthy but I always have a few for 
emergencies. The parry is actually super nice in that regard for speedrunning because you never have to heal. It's actually a little crazy how little I have to heal. Also, I know he increased the odds of getting magic rock candy from the flying skulls, which is kind of nice. 20 off of that, god damn. Yeah, the level 3 fairy is gaming. Oh. Brown frog summons a hungry companion. I want to see him. I want to see him eat it. <laughs> Wait, I wanna I wanna see the frog do the thing. <laughs> he's he's so fat now. <laughs> Wait a minute, it's so fucking funny. It's not good, but that's so fucking funny. He ate, he ate something else. Oh, I love how you can reset it by just doing that. Uh, I should be resetting to try to go to 14, I guess. What is this one? Give the oh, this is a golden animal cracker. Ah, yeah, I should keep those. That will make the the rabbits go burr. check what else do I even need I think I need crabs still Pedro thank you for the prime uh, that page was done I need seven crabs like 70 more serpents that I can do later and the pepper rexes we're almost done with monster eradication almost done Last eradication kind of went pretty quickly this time around. Uh, is five the best? I just need to kill seven of them. Be two on this floor. Three. Another one all the way down here. Not that one that I saw. I mean, that's four on one floor, so. How do trinkets work? When you open up the door and uh select the combat one you get a trinket slot and then you just get randomly you get trinkets from like killing monsters they just randomly drop and you can re not reforge them but you can uh like this is a level three fairy so you can re-roll it and i think apparently it goes up to level four but it takes three iridium bars every single time you want to re-roll it and it took me a lot of tries to even get level three. And it can just go down to level one after a reroll. It's done. Yeah. yeah, so I just have. Okay, we're good. 
I imagine there's a level four fairy, yes. It's probably just extremely rare, and it's really not worth it. I I haven't really noticed a difference in the healing amount between three or two and three. So I would be curious once the wiki is updated what the actual numbers are. What the exact healing number range is. I'm not staring, you're staring. I have a level 5 fairy. God damn, it goes up even higher than we thought. I mean, level 3 fairy seems already really good, so... He thinks the wiki will be right. I'm hoping Blade has more say in the wiki. And that people who were... Not deserving of their wiki spot to be removed. Oh, so it's kind of really hard to fuck up a number range. So it's like, it's one of those things where it's like, even if it's off by a number or two, it doesn't really matter. It's not an important one for them to get exact. Anybody can edit the wiki? Uh, there are some higher-ups that get the last say on things. Put it that way. Um, what am I trying to do here? I need to turn in that, right? Uh, I need stone, I need diamonds. I need you. Seven? That's fine, I guess. New achievement, artisan. Is that, like, an old achievement? I swear, like, that's not what it used to be called. I love how the Golden Stars is the one that tells you, uh... The Steam achievements now. I really don't need this ring anymore. There's no point of wasting the shards. I was thinking about, uh, like, so I can have two Iridium Band rings on, but I only have one. And it's like, I really don't need the second one, let's be real. Like, the 10% extra damage would be nice, don't get me wrong, but it's so unnecessary. I love how the fairy joins you, even in uh, cutscenes like that. I wonder if uh, the fairy joins you. It probably joins you even in uh, romance cutscenes. Imagine uh, you're, you're getting married and the fairy's just standing behind you, just staring down your neck. Oh, this is where a new hat is, I see. <laughs> you need to do more to achieve perfection now. I mean, there's more craftables and there's more uh, sh shipping items. There's more cooking. So technically, yes. You don't have to do any more in terms of, like, the perfection tracker. There weren't any other requirements added to it, but it's like, you have to do more cooking, you have to do more crafting. So, the answer is yes, but no.
They still take two hours to go, right? Yeah, the, the new mastery levels are the main thing that I'm talking about. Uh, all right. Well, now we gotta unlock the sewer. So I'm gonna be opening the new. I know, right, Gord? I mean, I haven't really stayed focused if it's not obvious. <laughs> I mean, I'm enjoying my first playthrough, to be quite fair. I'm not really caring about my final time. I'm gonna go back afterwards and do, like, do a do basically a salty run back. Not really salty per se, because I'm having fun with it, but it's the easiest way to explain it. I will admit the nice thing now is you don't have to uh You don't have to remember to pick up all the cooking recipes from the Queen of Sauce, because there's a book that just teaches you them all for 50k later on. So you can, you can just skip all that. <laughs> it's super nice. Uh, I don't think anybody has done it from a fresh save file. Well, I mean, no one's publicly done it. Maybe there's some, uh, no life who's literally played the game for, like, twice as much time as I have over the past four days. And has already finished, right? And that just does that by themselves. But nobody, nobody public has done it. There's always a chance that somebody does that, right? Like, the amount of hours that I have streamed this since release is crazy, but there's definitely somebody who has played over double the amount of hours of 1.6 since it's released than me, easily. Uh, Samantha, thank you for the five months. My favorite thing, you just saw me do it. Actually, that's a lie. The rubber ducky bobber is, uh, magnif magnificent. I have, so I've seen that. If you want, if you want to be extremely try hardcore, uh, if we downgrade to, I believe, patch 1.6.1, the dwarf prices in the volcano shop aren't changed. So they're still the original prices of 1.5. If you want to wait that long to buy bombs in masses. I still think it's just a funny thing to point out. To be fair, I got all my iridium from uh, the One Skull Cavern Day that I did for the festival with a copper pickaxe and a wooden mallet. <laughs> I got all, I got everything I needed just from that. <laughs> You don't need scarecrows on Ginger Island. There's no crows.
Why don't we check perfection tracker? Because it's the most interact in inaccurate thing in this game. It tell it doesn't tell you how close you are to completing perfection at all. What do you think we'll be in 1.7? Nothing, because I doubt it will happen. Um, yeah. Oh, I'm gonna have to do this eventually, so. I said 1.6 was gonna be a modding update. I didn't say it wasn't gonna happen. It did. I mean, like, any bug fixes he's gonna add for 1.6 is just gonna be a 1.6.3 like, update now. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if there's, like, a trinket system in Haunted Chocolatier. I changed the bobber. There's, like, a machine in Willy's shop to the right. And you unlock more bobbers as you progress through the game. There's probably more in there. I haven't checked it in a while. I'd assume you probably get one every achievement or so. I gotta catch 20 fish for biome balance, by the way, to get a, uh, a crafting item. This is probably the worst, uh, quest to do. Or, like, I, I hate doing this quest. It just takes so long. You can't cheese it with crab pots either, which is the sucky part. Otherwise, that's what I would do. You can cheese the trash one with crab pots, but you can't cheese this fishing one with crab pots. Apparently, the river crab pots don't count as, uh, fish. Also, oh, that was changed in 1.6, which I kind of doubt. Uh, no. No, 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 none of the requirements were changed for perfection. The only ones that were, like, technically changed were the ones where you have to craft everything and cook everything and ship everything because there was more items. Also, technically, there's one new fish as well. So it's like, you got to catch a new fish, right? So it's like, yes, items were added that I now have to get. 
that I didn't have to do, but there's no extra requirement. Like, there's no requirement to have, like, kids now or whatever. No, you only need to get married and then get your uh, wife or her husband to 12 hearts. Kids have never been a requirement for perfection. Or new fish. I guess if you count the jelly things, they don't really count them as fish. They don't really seem like fish to me. But I guess they're in the fishing tab, aren't they? We'll see. No one really did. I have, yes. I'm disappointed that he doesn't pull out a shank. Also, because I missed it, Jill's chat thing for the tier one for six months. Enjoy your new fish. Sorry. Probably distracted by something 10 minutes ago. Let's be real. Oh, I forgot to. Whatever. It's fine. I like it. Normally for the... It, it's it's very useful for especially the gems because all the gems don't fit in one chest. <laughs> with, uh, with what I'm doing. So it actually saves me uh, chest space. 
Oh, wait. Oh, shit. Now. Hopefully we go through all this at one point. I think after a certain point, it doesn't matter. Like, early on, you're obviously going to use a few small chests, but it's like two copper, 120 wood is like nothing. Wait, let's see what other bobbers I have. Uh, control shift one right click to buy 99 at a time. Nine hundred ninety-nine. Little slime, actual bobber, shoe, boat, dog. I love how you can randomize it too. Little slime here, little pink slime. I don't know what that is. We we keep duck. Duck is best. I like the ran. I like how you can randomize it though. Yeah, you can't craft. You still can't craft, or you can't cook 999 at a time. That menu just doesn't work. Even, yeah. That's bad. I need to ship 10,000 or 100,000 gold worth of uh, freshly cooked products. And the best way of doing that is to just cook 1,700 bread. He's cuisine in quest. What a fairy do? It heals you in combat. That's kind of funny. Oh, I got so many new stuff from that. I'm trying to get all the minerals from these. I'm so happy that this doesn't take coal anymore. It is, it's so wild that uh, these geocrushers do not take coal anymore, by the way. It just makes the speed run better. I don't have to worry about getting like 400 coal for this anymore. Bookseller today, Poggies. It doesn't matter. Uh, you need Clint to open up the new. Uh, any of the, like, actual item boxes. Unfortunately. I am hoping I can, like, completely skip Clint, though, in that regards. Because there's a new, uh... There's a new item that I think makes... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, wait, I gotta get... Where's my radioactive bars and hardwood? These are, uh, mystic trees, and they should give me mystic sap, or whatever. And then it makes the new totem. And that new totem, uh, I think makes artifact spots on the ground.
chair skipping. I generally don't do any chair skipping stuff. I, yeah, I mean, I consider skipping into the secret woods with a chair a glitch, and it's not allowed in the glitchless category that I generally run, so I never think about chair hopping into anything. Not really my first thought process. Yeah, Scythe go burr. Missing quite a few. If I notice any differences, I'm pretty sure the downwards has always been slightly bigger than the upwards. Just on any Scythe. It's not even just specifically the Iridium. the way around that might be true i know one of them is like slightly larger to the point where you can get an extra tile than the other one uh or easily get an extra tile they can both only get five i believe like you can get five on both ups and downs the diff the issue is is i believe going down it's harder to get five than going up I really don't need to buy any of that. I was seeing if there was, like, any new book. Uh, yes and no, son, because you can get, you can get five both ways. One is just more pixel perfect than the other. What year is this? I think Four. Oh yeah, I can open up my inventory and see it now. Why is it a different shade? I fucking hate this. Here four. I just want to see how strong these, uh, things can be. Uh, I don't have enough yet for that. Much I was, I would like to do the Skull Cavern Invasion, I don't have enough. I wonder if you select the Skull Cavern Invasion and then turn it off, what happens? So I can't even press E in that menu. So disgraceful. He's cuisine. Easiest way to do it. Nice gems. Yeah, it's very nice. All 
Are any of the new machines? Uh, yes. They have very uh, specific use cases. How long? Probably another 10 hours. Depends on how distracted I get. Find the raccoon. I need a spoon, and I don't really want to get a spoon right now. I love when we're just listening to the me music channel, but it never actually starts. Ba -doo -boo, doo -boo. Doo -boo, ba -doo -boo. And you wonder why I don't play in-game music often and play my own soundtrack. Let me demonstrate it. You can get five going up. If you stand in the right spot. See? Five going up. You have to stand, like, directly in the right spot. You gotta line yourself up against the sprinkler. Go down and then up, and then you can get five. I think it's going down is easier to get five than going up. I get six no. It's like I don't have to line myself up at all to get five going down. Going down is easier. If you line yourself up, you can get five sprinklers in the way, so I'm only getting four here. There might be a line up to get six on the way down. It only heals you once if you get hit once. Interesting. Took quite a few off. Wow, they sell for a thousand. Oh, <laughs> 500 energy? Two? Whoa. Oh, oh, oh. uh, bruh. Brother. Thousand each as well? I don't even have the tapper perfection. That's kind of wild. Okay, I gotta try this now, though. How do I craft it? A 10 boss, 5 hardwood. Kind of bonkers.
That's very interesting. Okay, I'm not gonna do this here because it's like the useless area to do it at since I already have all the things I need. But I'm very curious if I did it like, I wonder if it like tells me. The bus stop is such a terrible place to do it. I'm gonna do it in front of the community center and see what happens. Quarry maybe. Yeah, that would be another good spot. I don't know how many spots it is around you though. Oh, uh, that's such a weird ring. I got my spoon. Uh, I was kind of hoping it was like an 8x8 ring around you. Like, you need an open area. It's kind of bad for the town. I guess you have a spot, like, over here. You'd probably do it here or whatever. Slightly better. Somebody could probably optimize the spot. <laughs> Anybody need a spoon? That's nice, though. It makes it so some artifacts are much less of a hassle. I don't... It probably is faster than... Getting the extra Omnis? Ah, uh, okay, you got it until every spot, okay. It's probably still faster than getting all the extra Omnis. That's very interesting, though. Because then you can get the de desert ones really easily as well. I have I already know about the Lewis room thing. Do I have any frozen geodes hanging around? I need five of them. No, I think relatively they're all the same. In terms of money, ancient fruit wine kind of just became even more broken with the iridium scythe. Snake spines, I already have all the snake spines. I got those immediately. Snake spines were never hard to get. Jungle tank. Big.
That's cute. I don't exactly know why he wanted a spoon, but the man really wanted a spoon. It's ginger. The only quest that I won't do. It takes too long. No, you can just get them in other ways now. Apparently, you can get them from muscle nodes. Which actually just makes them really piss easy to get. Definitely should get more geode crushers next run. I just gotta sleep a bunch of days at this point because I need a bunch of money to be able to pay for the golden clock and all the obelisks. And then at the same time, I'm trying to crush these geodes so I can get all the minerals. And I'm waiting for, uh,. Other thing. Ooh, green rain. Okay, oh, never mind. We're gonna take a short break from this and get all the fiber we can because I need a lot of fiber for crafting here. I don't think I need that much moss. And why am I? Why is there not like a bunch of the fiber plants? Or does that only happen at the first time? Or I guess I could probably only spawn on the dirt, and all the dirt's like eaten up now. I wonder what type of uh, drugs he was on to make Green Rain uh, <laughs> an idea. <laughs> Where the fuck does he think? Oh yeah, let's just add Acid Rain to Stardew Valley. I'm sure the community would love that. We are happy for now, Bobo. The jungle tank like the final reward. I need a lot of fiber, by the way, for a few crafting materials. I mean, she doesn't seem to be affected by this. You're wondering why I'm going around gathering a bunch of fiber. I 
I mean, you can always do deconstructors and, uh, deconstructors with, uh, grass starters, but... I don't really want to set up deconstructors right now. Did adjust some space helmet. <laughs> you need nine 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 fiber for this. Oh, my God. <laughs> It's so much to crap that. I wonder if getting a haymaker sword would actually be worth it in a run now. Yeah, I need 999 fiber for a single item. Uh, some farm blessing statue. I don't even know what it does. And a haymaker sword would go so hard here, actually. One of those things that I'm gonna need to be aware about <laughs> when I when I run this the next time. It's like seeing some of these items that I need to craft are so wildly expensive that I just like I need to plan ahead for them. With like items that I normally don't need too much of. I mean, I guess it wouldn't be that bad as long as I just don't skip. Um... Uh, the green day, or the rain days. I must have enough because I'm pretty sure I have like 600 in a chest back at my place or back on Ginger Island. So I only need like 660 or something.
Apparently Pam doesn't care. Well, hopefully that's enough. I mean, I would be here with these guys. Yeah, I do have a stack. Nice. Okay, so I need... 99 stone, 99, 999 stone, 999 fiber, 999 sap, and 33 moss. You, 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 you. Statue of Blessing. What do you do? Gain an extra... You gain extra friendship from speaking to people. How much extra? Is that a permanent buff? It, it, like, from speaking, like, what about a gift? Does that give extra friendship on a gift? I know I have to craft it at some point, but I'm kind of hoping it's, like, useful if I have to get that much. I wonder if it gives a different one. 999 this, 999 that. Nobody asks how is Algo doing this. You have oh okay, it's a different okay, it's different every day. You have infinite energy. Huh. I guess we'll see how uh how many different things there are and if there's actually a useful one. Activate it twice. Infinite energy kind of sucks this late into the run. You know, it's your friendship from speaking with people. Yeah, yeah, it looks like it. You have infinite energy. It better not just be those two. Because that is like the saddest two things. There are six. Oh man, I'm just getting unlucky apparently. I'd like to know the specifics on the, the friendship one. Because if it's just talking, like, how much extra friendship points are we talking about here? Like, enough to actually, like, warrant a friendship routing change? Uh, only the Iridium Scythe. Which has gotten pretty late into the game. But yes. <laughs> I bought them and then I was I was gonna put them on the quality cord and then I didn't like how it looked because OCD, so I just put them on the basic. <laughs> It is really cursed, but I do not care. It's a lovely.
To be fair to craft those, they're not really hard to get materials. The fiber is the worst, but he has deconstructors and he can just buy grass starters. Like, those materials aren't the worst. He's gonna need to make a little bit of extra money, but there's definitely worse stuff he has to craft in the update. Oh, right. Yeah, okay, never mind. Yeah, the sap sucks. <laughs> sap mahogany trees. Or tap mahogany trees. <laughs> I haven't seen them all. He needs 999 mystery boxes. That's not terrible. Uh, it's fun day. The 600? Yeah, the fiber is not bad. Is that a golden cow? It's a golden animal cracker. It makes the animals permanently double their yield. Except for pigs. So I'm saving them for the rabbits when I get there. Uh, yeah. Pigs are already too broken. Don't say CA hates pigs. He's literally just not allowing them to be more broken. It just doesn't affect pigs. mastery oh right i should probably unlock the two new ones <laughs> i haven't gone and unlocked the two new ones even though i'm mastery five now and can have them all unlocked what year is this for is the problem yeah but it would be dumb if they didn't work with it cord so So if I have wait 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 whoa 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 if I have infinite energy if I were to eat one of the bugged pickles and what one of the bugged pickle pumpkins would I live? You feel Grandpa's hand patting your shoulder. Can I get this hat? I want this hat. Is this his tombstone, actually? That's kind of fucked if this is his tombstone. What a peaceful music. What does these do? Challenge bait. A perfect catch yields triple fish. However, each time the fish escapes the fishing bar, the catch is reduced. You can now uh, encounter golden fishing chests. Advanced iridium rod. Did it just give it to me? Oh, it did. Nice. Two bobbers at once. And then what did this do? Gem bearing rocks. Grant twice. Uh, dwarf king. Heavy furnace. The dwarf king statue. How expensive is this? Oh, it's not that bad. I wonder if I'll get a cutscene or something. You think that was the cutscene? Yeah, I... I don't know. Do I even have... 20 iridium bars. How much is a heavy furnace? Two furnaces, three iron, 50 stone. Interesting. That's an interesting crafting recipe. Am I going to marry this run? I'm probably going to spin a random wheel because I don't care. I think it would be funnier. Do 
Fifty stone is a little expensive about this, but... I assume they take the same amount of time. Uh, I mean, they consume less coal. And space. And they have a 50% chance of yielding an extra bar. So kind of meh. At least for what I'm using them at. Greater chance of finding coal bombs cannot damage you. Critical strike chance. Oh, that's kind of interesting. Interesting. Yeah, I can see that, Cord. Greater chance of finding geodes. I wonder how much of a greater chance that is. I doubt it's, like, worth it at the point that we get it. It's just easier to get Omni Geodes. Like this. But, I mean... Plus one luck. Oh, that could be really stupid. I wonder if it's set to the day. Uh, what am I looking for? Uh, so I need opal and I forget what that's called. Plus one. <laughs> that sounds fun for Vidvax. <laughs> Last time, is that the one that it is? Yeah, I'm assuming resetting the day doesn't change it. Uh, spam click the Junimo. <laughs> uh, that's interesting as well. Extra ladder chance. Ooh, you, <laughs> you can get move speed from it. Oh, that's actually so, so sick. I can have plus three move speed active, like, right now. Wait, 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 So you can get plus, you can have the 0.5 from the books, 0.5 from the blessings, so that's, that's one. Or, that's one. You can get two from the food and drink. And then if you do, if you go out on the, the desert day, that's another one. That's another one. So that's, what, plus four. And then if you have the savage the savage ring that is plus six with the gear you can get plus seven move speed. You can get plus seven move speed. Yeah, the crit one, the one where if you get a crit you get a move speed bo a one move speed bonus for nine seconds. You have plus seven move speed when fully stacked. <laughs> Brother. That's completely, like, not practical. Like, realistically, you do not need that. But that is so funny.
Okay, I mean, like, this statue can be pretty good. For the first three fish you hook today will be much easier. Blessing of water. Okay. That one's not very good. Okay, I think I've gotten all six of them now. I think the luck one is probably the best one. The luck followed by move speed. I think you can get so much move speed in the game now. Like, there's a point at which it's just not useful anymore. And you just better, you're better off. There's a prismatic one. Okay, I'm sure that's like rare though, so. Now the seven speed doesn't even include the horse, <laughs> but it would be very annoying to get it with the horse because two of them involves being in combat. So I guess if you are on the wilderness farm, it would be easier. You'd kill an enemy with a crit and then you get the plus three move speed and then you get on the horse and speed. Or I guess the secret woods as well. But two of them require you to be in combat. I probably could have done the Skull Cavern Invasion quest, but... I've already pre-bought it, so yes, the answer to that question is yes. <laughs> they get the blue trees, they're mystic trees. You gotta get them in the new uh quest area. Or the new uh or the new the new door area thing in Cinder Sap. Where you gotta get level ten in all in all skills to open. Yeah, the trinkets are pretty funny. The frog is so... F <laughs> the frog is so... <laughs> the frog is so funny. It just gulps them. Just gone. Uh, I'm not doing ginger in that many days. I'm sorry. Not really. It does not. It's only purchasing. It's something that I should probably address. That basically anything other than the uh, buying menu, you cannot like use the functions for half the time. I'm only using 2.5 move speed. My move speed's not even that fast. This is like close to 
what I was using last update. Uh, the fishing rod has never changed the bar size. That's a common misbelief. It, only fishing level and bobbers affect bar size. That said, being able to have cork bobber and trap bobber on at the same time is, uh... Kind of good. Where is this? Prismatic butterfly is waiting for you somewhere in the valley. Where? Oh, it's the scam. What do you mean by scam? There's a fourth one. Cave carrot juice pickled radish. Yo, bro. Brother, you gotta, you gotta chill out there. It's a pain in the ass for what it gives. Is it in the same spot every time, at, at the very least, or is it actually random? No. No, oh, trash pandas down here. Probably do this guy. You want a carp? Random. But it's in the valley, right? And yeah, I guess it, I have to find it in a day. It's the sucky part. Is it like obvious when it's on the screen though? They just gotta keep fishing for them. I don't know how the odds are for fishing jellies to show up. It spawns and moves around. Wait, so you're telling me it can just fly off screen? Forest, town, beach, mountains. What do you have to do when you find it? Is it just like a click on it? Okay, I'm sure that's not it because it's not. Worth screenshotting. Oh no, I feel like that's kind of lame for the first time. Maybe, uh, maybe next run I'll do that. Just get a butterfly hutch. I don't think that's how this one would work. Uh, I think you could probably, you might be able to get it below a day, but it would be really d hard. I think a lot of the new items are really broken where it actually speeds things up in some areas. 
I still think it will be overall slower than the la than 1.5, but it's definitely not nearly as bad because of a lot of quality of life additions. Yeah, there's always things that you can do. You know what? Like I wasn't really paying that much attention in the forest here. Can it be in the secret woods? Did that really just give me money? And that's it? It just gives you money? As a cap of 50k, that is downright disrespectful. Save carrot and pickle the radish. If it gave you, like, a craftable, it would be cool, but... Prismatic butterfly can give you a prismatic shutter as well. That's completely useless to me, so... I do. Found the dog. Interesting. Well, that was, uh, what I, how would I call that? A waste of time? Can you even get another blessing if you put it down? No, it's actually smart. Uh, to the, for the most part, yes. I need, I need juiced, uh, cave carrot pickled radish.
But I had a long way. I don't know if I really had fun looking for that. had a blast. Oh, uh, let's go find the butterfly again! Not... Uh, I mean, yeah, I played it once. It feels really weird. I don't like the new whale. I miss the bubbles. There's so many less bubbles. It's kind of sad. Not my whale. They made it so there's more leniency while jumping. So it's like you can fall off the edge and still jump. Uh, yeah. He's calling it grace jumps. And then the whale shoots out like a fourth of the bubbles it used to. It's actually a little depressing. Not my Junima cart. wine for i need 14 million gold for the golden clock and the obelisk i guess 13 million technically i need a lot of money realistically i should make more uh kegs but uh it's more annoying to replant Yeah, I probably will. I have to replant it every time, and then with the Iridium Scythe, I can just Scythe Harvest all the ancient fruit as well. So it's much less work than Star Fruit.
This is the first perfection run since 1.6. Yes, I plan on doing more. Because I, I would like to somewhat optimize it at the very least. I'd be less inclined to do shit that I'm doing right now. I would never play Junimo Kart in like a record time speed run. Because first off, you can do shit like that. Second off, uh, getting 10 key gems for doing the Junimo Kart mission is a waste of time. It should never be done. It is just not worth your time. But I love Junimo Kart too much. Uh, to actually uh, not do it. Uh, that was me not looking at the jump. I keep... <laughs> look how much leniency there is. <laughs> I keep... I'm, I'm trying to show off how much leniency there is. It's so wild. It's definitely easier. I'm just not used to it. So it's like... I'm, st I'm bad at it. I don't even think it was unforgiving before. I think it's too forgiving now. I think it's way too forgiving now. They made it so you can jump later now. And then look at... Look what they did to my boy Whale. Look what they did to Bertha. There was five bubbles right there. Where's the bubbles? They did her so dirty. Like, I understand, like, decreasing it by, like, maybe half. But that was, like, a... <laughs> There, it's like a four times decrease there. Out of breath. It's like, come on now. There was bubbles, just not nearly as much as there used to be. The whale is definitely way too easy now. Oh, and then also they made it so that you can't get double mushrooms anymore on the mushroom level. Which, honestly, I'm fine with. That chain, like, the double mushrooms sometimes just screwed you. And you couldn't do anything about it. You can't get double mushroomed anymore. That's a good change. This is what I mean about getting distracted. Like, I, I would say, like, I'll get a time under 30 hours, but then I just do this with Junimo Kart. You know? <laughs> and I'm just wasting so much time. Yeah, but I like, you know, a cart cord. This is how I'm getting distracted with stuff. <laughs> this is where I lose my time, too. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I'm just enjoying the update more so than actually doing a perfection speedrun.
to be fair, a lot of the times it's just like, I don't know what I want to do, but I know I like need to do this soon. So it's like, I just end up doing it. Uh, I think the new jumping thing just saved me there. <laughs> you might like throw. Fairy King was not nerfed. I don't know. I didn't. Uh, I don't think Fairy King was that bad to begin with. I don't know if you could actually get that grape, by the way. That grape did not look possible. <laughs> Just outright. I hate how high the stage is. That's a very sus grape. That's a new PB, actually. Funny enough, this is the highest score I've ever gotten, ever. Your card is actually so much easier now. <laughs> what the fuck? Hey, yo, now loop again? Oh, <laughs> uh, we'll see. I'm surprised I didn't die to that. <laughs> We're just gonna skip the... The speed is like, Ashley. How many times is Bertha actually gonna get bubbles out because of how fast we're going? Uh, I thought I died there because I didn't do a full jump. <laughs> I'm just getting- I'm just not getting the fruit which kind of sucks. I'm so quick! <laughs> Oh, uh, this is where the coyote jumps really help, by the way. When you start getting to this speed. I'm starting to get motion blur. <laughs> oh, that was a coyote jump save. <laughs> Bye, slime. I almost got 300k! <laughs> that was so quick! <laughs> that was fun.
<laughs> I was afraid. Throwing the 300k, yeah. <sighs> Bro, my eyes started tweaking with the motion blur of the speed. <laughs> Immediately back to speed running. Yeah, I only need to get 50k score right there. I don't know what, what else you expect from me. Uh, I'm still missing two, right? Yeah, oh well. I'm really curious how much extra friendship points you get from... ...speaking. I need- I'm like, trying to wait for this radish to finish growing. I was up with the ferret. It heals you in combat. It's a new trinket. Oh, there's one. Or was it? Wait. Never mind. I have the opal already. I thought I didn't have the opal. Where's my jars? Again, guys, I'm just trying to get all the minerals real quick here. I just need, like, a few more. It's like two more, actually. And then I'm also trying to save up money for, uh... For the Golden Clock Obelisk. Uh, just everything. I need one more die. I, I need four... I basically need 14 million plus... To be able to just buy out everything that I need at this point. There we go. Oh, it's the orpiment. I was I, I had it right with the O, just not the actual word. Alright, I just need the Celestine or whatever the hell it's called. Uh that said, we got a raccoon family to feed. They have four children now. I'm really trying out these mystic syrups, by the way, because you can craft them into these uh, totems that give you artifact spots around you. And normally how I would end up doing this is I would get enough Omni Geodes to, uh, for all the minerals, and then I would have to get a bunch of Omni Geodes to transform into treasure troves. But I want to try out this syrup thing. I'm, it's probably just going to end up being faster to just get more uh, geodes, unfortunately, but. We're doing great, Bobo. Is that, like... This is kind of useless to me now, but... Whatever. Yeah, artifact troves used to be. Wait, half the tree is gone? Yeah, it got struck by lightning. Apparently. No, no, it got blown down by a gust of wind. And then the raccoons moved in. What are golden cows? They're golden animal crackers. They double the production of animals that you feed them to besides pigs. Come on, I only got 27 left. I don't want to farm more game. You're really going to do this to me? You're really going to do this to me, game.
Scythe OP. I need money. You need 10 million gold for the golden clock. The purpose of ancient fruit wine is money. Uh, I don't think so, no. You missed one? I'm not going back for it. It doesn't matter if I missed one. Missing three books still. What are the green stars? The mastery things they all do different things 1.17 what are we a minecraft update Is there a new biome in 1.6? <laughs> How many hours have you spent in this world? The timer at the top left corner. 21 hours. I'll probably end up selling them raw. You generally end up selling them because you never make enough kegs. This is 1.6. I'm not playing with any mods. This is all vanilla. What about the dehydrator? What do you mean, what about it? Zoom is based off your monitor resolution. I run 2K. Uh, I mean, I probably could, yeah. They're not nearly as good, but. Woo! We actually got them all. Holy shit. Our last Omni. Alright. Now it's time to be a real pain in the ass. Alright, we have all the minerals now.
exactamente. I don't know, I'm kind of content with CA having us only at three. He doesn't want us to be able to carry everything at all times, but I mean, there is quite a few new items, so it's like, it wouldn't make the worst sense. Yeah, I mean, I, I would agree. It could have been a mastery thing instead of buying it. That would actually probably have been better because it's like Grandpa's favorite backpack or some shit. Need an aqua, I think. You know what perfection is in Stardew Valley? Basically, the answer to your question is if you don't know what perfection is in Stardew Valley, then play the game more. <laughs> it's like the 100% end goal of Stardew. And I'm saying that in the nicest way possible because I want I want people to enjoy Stardew Valley as Stardew Valley. One of my favorite games of all time. I want people to enjoy it. So it's like, if you don't know what perfection is, you haven't played it enough. Is more of my point. It does take a long time, but I don't think it takes too long to get to the point where you can know what perfection is. That's fine. And I'm not saying that you have to be able to complete perfection to know what it is. I'm saying, like, most people know what perfection is if they have played enough hours of the game. And again, that is more of what my point is here. They haven't played enough hours because they don't know what perfection is. Uh. Okay, the only thing I don't think I have donated to the museum is the aquamarine. Actually, wait, can you just... 
There's no way I've donated that. Wait, there's no way I've donated all this already. Wait, that's kind of annoying. I don't think I've donated all that. There's no way that it should be telling me what it is on that menu. That's kind of dumb that it does that. Um, syrup. I should go trade my staircases it on Sunday. Because then I can do dinos. doing dinosaurs. He got lucky. I want to, like, I don't think it's very, I don't think it's insanely lucky. I think it's like a 1% chance, which is like a 1 in 100. It's not the, it's not the craziest thing in the world. But, uh, yeah, I mean, it just happens if you fish enough and pick up enough chests. Which I would have to look at the wiki to see what it is, even though the wiki is probably wrong about the numbers now because there's new items. Uh, aging wine just really isn't ever worth it. Unless if you're, like, super late game and you have nothing else to do. It's just not worth my time. In a, in a speed run. Best change of 1.6. I like the duck bobber. It's cute. There's too many changes that are too cool to, like, specifically give you one. be quite honest the, just aging in general in this game like the aging process is all just not good Raccoon required for perfection? Probably. Yeah, probably not. I don't think you need to get all the books for perfection, so I don't think so, but I'm doing it anyways just because it's new and I want to see what it is.
Yeah, only the iridium scythe harvests crops. No other scythe does. Why not star fruit? Because then I have to replant it every time. And with ancient fruit, I can just go in, scythe it with the iridium scythe, and then leave. Sleep a week, do it again. The replanting time sucks. I don't know if that's enough bread. money. Next big goal, I'm going to be killing dinos here in a minute, but I got to go to the bathroom, so I shall be right back.
Alrighty. Uh I can't do anything on here. Okay. okay. So yeah, basically what I'm gonna be doing now is day resetting. I'm trying to find uh I'm trying to find a dino floor. No pun intended. Thank you for the uh, tier one. I'm trying to find a uh, dinosaur floor because I need to kill 50 pepperexes. And they can't spawn until I'm floor seven, I believe. So I'm just going to be skipping floors here. And then on floor seven, I'm going to look. Does Can this floor be an infested floor, which is required for a dino floor to spawn? No. Or yes, it can be. So this floor is checked. This floor is checked. This floor is checked. This floor is checked. This floor can't be a dino floor, and I can't tell because it's uh, a certain layout. So I'm going to have to go back and check 11. I'm going to have to go back and check 12. I'm going to have to go back and check 13, 14, 15. This floor is clear. This floor is cleared. This floor is cleared. This floor is cleared. That's a lot of bats, but this floor is cleared. Cleared. Dino floor and 20. Okay, this is all I needed. Kill me. That's all I needed. Really nice floor layout, too. Alright, so I just gotta go back to floor 22, so I'm gonna leave and then go back. Just ladder all the way back down there. Yeah, the artifacts is a byproduct of it, but I more, I just need to kill 50 dinos. Yeah, very OP, honestly. Didn't get to check those floors again. So now we're really hoping to get a nice big and open floor on 22 and not a floor that can't be an infested floor. Like this. Wow, we got two nice floors back to back. There's monster eradication. I don't need that. Uh, yeah. Nice. Uh, some of the ladders look different. It depends on how the floor looks. Okay, we're gonna turn that off now. Because it's easier to hunt serpents when that is off. And then, I guess tomorrow, I'll just do the remaining serpents. How is the hammer cooldown so fast? Uh, I have Artful, which halves it. And then, I also have Acrobat, which halves it. So, it's a quarter of the normal cooldown. There's no animation canceling involved. I don't use anything special. I use a $20 mouse and I use like an $80 keyboard. I don't know exactly what the bluegrass does. I just know it increases friendship points more. Normal.
I only need to kill like 70 serpents. It's not even that bad. By the way, the reason why we do uh, serpents not in the hard mode is because they're much easier to kill and it's really not that much worse spawns if you have monster musk. It just wastes so much time healing and uh, comboing the royal serpents that it's just not worth the time investment. At least that's what I found out last or the last perfection run I did when I was testing this. It's so much easier to just one-shot them. They don't have nearly as much HP. It would definitely be better if you had a monster floor on floor one, so it's much more powerful on uh, a seated run, but... As you can see, like, I'm really not wasting any time healing and whatnot. Combo and then leave. Nah, it's just because it's not dangerous. Mines, I'm not going to get nearly as many spawns. That's fine. This? No, not really. It's felt like the same as Perfection. I've definitely been getting distracted more than I normally do, but that's just because it's new update, and I'm experimenting with new stuff as I go. So that's more of uh, me not caring about this run being perfect right now. Bat do be kind of broken. Barry's also pretty strong. I don't want to walk all the way over there for that. I need monster eradication goals. The last one that I have is serpents. My goal is to literally just kill serpents. And then we're done with monster eradication. Actually surprised the mine shafts don't count as combat. that in a hot minute. I wonder if I'll get a book for slaying or doing all monster eradication. Yeah, if you hit them away far enough, you can get enemies to despawn.
No, I'm not. I'm not anywhere near the end. I'm hoping to do it in less than 30, but I tend to get distracted, so it's probably not going to happen. Probably going to be slightly over 30 hours. Depends on how fast late game goes. Some of the new stuff may allow me to only have to do two years of NPC gifting, which is uh, much faster than the three that I used to do. Which is nice. Yeah, I, I heard there's a book in the Squid Fest thing. There's still two other books that I'm missing. I think one is in the wizard's room that I've just been ignoring. And I don't actually know where the last one is. But I'm missing two books. Rubies are the only thing worth putting on hammers because the hammer special attack cannot crit. Otherwise, crits would probably be the best. You're gonna turn in now. I'll probably do an all hats run later into the year once I actually know how to get them all. There's just too many new hats. It'll be its own separate run. I'm not gonna, it's not my style to just sit here and try to do something that I have no idea how to do. And I'm not going to spend hours trying to figure out how to get like a hat that I'm missing that I don't even know what it is. All right, done with monster eradication. Mystery boxes has a book. Why Aquamarines? I need one to donate, but I don't know. I just kept picking them up because I felt like it. Unless if you meant aquas for enchanting, then it's because they give extra crit chance. And crits are kind of good. Free damage. All the mystery boxes are doo doo.
All right, chat. Let's go meet everybody's favorite NPC in the game. It's only been four years. <laughs> Finally unlocked it. Can you open this for me? Wizards category. Private. How much money is that? 500k butterfly power. Sprinkle on pets to remove them from the farm. This process is irreversible. That's kind of... Kind of sad. I don't really need those anymore. Uh, the fishing as I'm here, I guess. Oh, I guess I have this. I don't need to walk back. <laughs> now it's the time where I need to get in my head that I have the return scepter, and I will never remember that I have the return scepter because I almost never get to play with this item. Did the Meadowlands suck? It sucks for mid-max and speedrunning. It's probably the coolest looking farm, though, for casual play and aesthetic runs. I can't say it's the worst one though. I think the worst one is definitely just always going to be the the fishing farm. Even though the fishing farm might have, uh, I can't even say that it might have a use. Like all of them might just have like a unique use with them. Uh, I gotta start the quest before I can get it. It's like, if you specifically need like a smoker, the fishing farm could be useful. If you specifically need animals for whatever reason, uh, the meadow farm could be useful. But just overall, the forest farm is just the best speedrunning farm. And then the only extra one that's like even close to it would be uh, uh, beach. And that's just because of supply crates and the odds of getting coffee. Can I get mayo? I hope this wasn't fixed, by the way. Where you can just get like really easy mayo. Or void mayo without having to try. Mayo chance was nerfed. How much though? Yeah, perfection is harder in 1.6. How much was it turned down? I don't really want to be here forever. And it would just be easier to buy a void egg from Krobus and then sleep a bit. Faster to get void egg. Probably. Yeah, this is Witch's Swamp.
Uh, I don't know if that's updated on the wiki yet or not, so I don't know if I fully trust it yet. I mean, it's pretty easy just to do that, though. Was that the phone? Yes, I used the phone earlier to get cookies from Goss so I can complete the CC. So I just have a phone on my farm. Uh, you're a goober, sincerely. What do you need for missing bundle? I need a dino egg. Dino, yeah, I need dino mayo. I, get to, I, I should be able to, like, finish it now if I really wanted to. I thought that might be a new book. Integral of unknown origin. Is this the Terraria thing? Yeah. It looks like the pylon. What's the uh, what's the area with the highest odds of getting the strange doll when tilling? Somebody look that up for me. Not strange doll, ancient doll. The little boy. Ancient doll. It's mountain. Okay. Artifact trove. I'm not doing artifact troves. I'm trying out this. I'm trying out the new fucking uh, tilling spot thing. Is they're kind of fun. Uh, uses a lot of hardwood, but it's fine, I guess. Set the day for them. You could. I don't know if they disappear the next day. Like, if I mass spawn them and then just sleep a day to save them and then I can just go in and hoe them, that would be really interesting. I mean, I'm sure so a, a few will disappear, but. I can also try to get, uh, the, uh, agriculturalist on my hoe, or not agriculturalist, the artifact one on my hoe as well for increased odds. And then I don't have to worry about farming for, uh, extra omnis. But maybe the extra omnis is just easier to farm for. This is kind of more fun. The extra Omnis is probably still just faster to farm for. Especially that you can exploit uh, dangerous mines and get the increased spawn rate like the other area. Or like the regular mines. You can with that glitch. You have Scepter. Yeah. I do have Scepter. I just wanted to try these out because they seem like they could be nice.
But I mean, like... The only sucky part is, is you have to, uh, until it. Got a red party hat. You can see what I mean about it, though. Uh, I did need to untail. It didn't work last time. I did it. I did it on the beach, and it needed me to untail it. Of how I can't click OK there. Very curious what the stats of this sword's gonna be. So what? Uh, I throw this into. You go to floor 100, and then you throw this in here, right? I was supposed to go to the volcano, wasn't I? <laughs> it's the volcano, okay. Did it wrong? No, it's here? Wait, then what am I supposed to do? I think it's right click, not throw. Okay. That top hat, need that, need that gray hoodie. I don't like the red. Hang on, I'll just show you piano. You gotta untell it. Rip one. Uh, need, need. <laughs> yeah, you owe me a totem now, yeah. Got to right click with it. Wrong spot. Oh, okay. Nice. Uh, no wall flash? No, just a bone serpent. And you can do this. Leave the bone serpent alone. It's a Terraria reference. This is a, a pylon crystal. And then, because I don't have friendship with the wizard, I have to go through this way. Where's Wall of Flesh? Yeah. Go here. Go here. And this is the counter part of Terraria. <laughs> Meow. <laughs> <laughs> the wizard's fist. Don't you touch that. Twenty damage out of twenty. Unusual weapon from a faraway land. It's generally useless. You can re you can remap it. Uh yeah, Malmir. Uh I wanna see how bad it is. Not in terms of its damage, but if you kill an enemy with it, you get a little explosion.
Can I? Ooh, that's not that bad. Sucks that it's a sword. Worst weapon type in the game. But still cool, nonetheless. Yeah, that's what probably most people will end up doing, but again, it sucks that it's a sword. Nah, daggers daggers have more use cases than swords, at least late game. The argument would be swords are better early game, which they are compared to daggers, but daggers still have more use cases. Swords are pretty. Swords are literally just worse clubs. No, you can't. That, and that's like the issue. Clubs just do everything that swords want to do, but better. They have higher damage. They have a better ability. And then daggers are very niche for their ability. And the sword's ability is just the worst. There's a fifth one. What is wrong with this family? Dried apples, cactus fruit jelly. I can actually do that very quickly. Fairy is new to everybody. I don't. I'm pretty sure these new desert to or these new totems are actually really strong and you can skip out on just getting the omnis with it. Cause you just do it in certain areas and then get everything you need. And then you get the enchant uh, you know, I'm just gonna do that right now. I'm gonna try to get it. I think it's very interesting. You need so many cinder shards. Oh wait, let me go and de-enchant this dwarf dagger real quick for the extra cinders. I mean, sp speedruns museum. Essentially now. In some ways, yeah. Because what we used to do is we... I would get like the 400 omnis for the minerals. And then get like another 300 omnis for treasure troves. To get ev all the artifacts from the treasure troves as well. But now it seems like I only need to do the 400 for Omnis, and then I can just do this for whatever. Can't even get that money. And I can do something like this. I want Generous. I want Swift. Yeah, I get archaeologist. I have mini forge. I have not crafted it, but I should. <laughs> I'm just doing this as like a side thing because there's an achievement for watching a movie and I kind of want all achievements again. So this is like... Woo, new missing bundle speed run. 22 and a half hours. Just warm up, yeah. This Junimo is so dramatic with its <laughs> with its uh cutscene right here. The others made it back except for me. Now I can go home too. Thank you. Thank you. Oh gee, that's third place on the glitchless leaderboard. <laughs> 
<laughs> bye bye. Something good will happen soon. Dot dot dot. This category is sad. Yeah. Cool. Um. I'm gonna go turn in this. I'm just gonna get rid of that. Keep forgetting I have to press escape for that. But it's like, yeah, I mean, I should, in theory, be able to just... So it's like, what artifacts am I missing here? Bone flute, so... Forest, forest, desert, desert. Get these later, and then I can get this on... Oh, this is also desert. And then the other one is... I'm surprised I didn't get a rare disc while I was farming. So in theory, I should be able to just go in front of Ra or Marnie's right here and just... There's Bone Flute. Ancient sword. Oh, it was a little low. I lost the spot. Yeah, I got a palm fossil. Take that. I am curious if they stay over the day, though. So if I can just, like... I mean, it'd be really annoying to, like, run down and reset for these, but... I just need Elvis jewelry now. But they're really not hard to craft, is, like, the thing. It's more annoying that you have to retell it every time and it doesn't just, like, replace it. Tent kit? Yeah, you need a quite... Yeah, you just tent kit it. Oh, that's... <laughs> that would be so funny. Actually. I might do that next time. Oh, there it is. Ancient seed as well. You tent kit it as well. Harp shirt. Flame shirt. What do you use for animation canceling? I uh, have it on Spaceball. You can just, uh, there, if you, we now allow three to one, so you can just bind it all to one key, so you don't have to worry about holding it. Yeah. Wait, let me go find those tent kits. I, I'm actually curious how strong this will be. They're probably on Ginger Island. Yeah, they're on Ginger Island.
Nah, the run won't be completed today. You press the delete key, which is coincidentally bound bounded in my spacebar because of animation canceling, so I just press this I just press spacebar while holding an item and it deletes it. Very convenient. I do like now that like you just get shirts and hats through various things throughout the valley that my shirt and hat collection when I go throughout the speedrun will just be constantly changing. Just day in and day out. So wait, where are my last artifacts? Yeah, just the desert. Uh, no, I have not. So in theory, if I do this, and then I place this, and I sleep. If these are here tomorrow... Alright, I got this. I don't really need that many of these. I'm sure a few will disappear. Yeah, just a few. But now... If I don't get what I want, I reset the day. And do I spawn here or do I spawn in a vet? Yeah, I spawn right here and I get to do it again. Those were the exact same, weren't they? You'd have to do another 10. Oh. How expensive are these tents to craft? Yeah, you'd have to tent keep tenting. The 10 hardwood kind of sucks. Why is it not letting me click? Oh, it's weird. Yeah, I just wanted to try this though, Cord. Oh, so I kind of got all my other stuff off. Yeah, it's just kind of easier to make more. Rip. Thought we might have something funny going there. I kind of did two cord. Move totem after waking up. That would probably honestly be better. You can totem after waking up and move. Move around. And then you don't actually lose the spots. Okay, uh, final test. Because somebody mentioned it, and I'm also curious. I'm just not going to use that. Uh, final test, final test. Does it work in the mines? I'm going to guess no. Uh, but... That is cursed. That's cursed. Doll shirt. I 
Yeah, this is a good way to farm warp totems, it looks like. And a few books. Wait, what am I doing? I gotta go into the deeper floor to get what I want. <laughs> no dolls. Nah, I mean... Yeah. I need rare discs. The rare disc is actually the last artifact that I don't have yet. I'm pretty sure you can get it from tilling. What is that shirt? Yo, I'm getting so many shirts. Officer uniform. Shirt. I'm kind of just using these at this point just to see what I can... I don't think I'm gonna get any... I haven't gotten any artifacts from it yet. I'm probably not gonna get it soon. Yeah, it's easier to just brute force it from the shadow creatures, especially with, uh... It'll be easier for me to brute force it. It's nice for, uh, clay, though. Tier list? I don't know if I'll do a tier list, per se. A lot of the items are just going to be straight up situational. Because I have a few hundred already. And I can just blow up the dig site again. No, it has to be placed outside. Yeah, I'm literally just missing, uh, rare desk. I, I'm just gonna go back and get my, uh, monster musk. Uh, I really just don't need these. It's also raining, so I should probably go do that. I'm gonna wait until next Monday. I missed the cycle, but I don't really care. What are artifact spots in the volcano? I'm sure it's similar to, like, the mines. I like moving it, though. <sighs> no, I don't think it is. Uh, uh, uh. I got a bathroom, guys.
again, so I'll actually be right back. I'm trying to think what I need to do. What do I need? I need the dried apples. What was the other item the raccoons wanted? Oh, it was pickled coconut. Nah, it was coconut. Nah, 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 nah. Yeah. Um, and then I want to do something else. All right, I should. I should start f finishing up the walnuts. So we need to do a little bit of fishing. A little bit of panning. That should be it. Where's my mummified bat? I need you. You, you, you. I bet. Yeah, I just need tail and spine. What do you do for batteries? I just save them for when I have to do all the crafting with them later. Realistically, in a better run, I would save them all for, uh... Or I would use the... I would get more, uh... Crystallariums. If I got batteries earlier. With more early batteries, you spend them on crystallariums because you need a lot of jades and rubies early on. I like. Apparently, I never donated that, which would have been really sad. I forgot to give Pam this run, but yeah, that's probably the best case. Actually, resetting not for the golden parsnip spot, but just for a golden parsnip early on. <laughs> you probably don't really need to do that, though, to be fair. I'm kind of just waiting for... I need five fishing walnuts. Pretty sure you can get it here. Uh, maybe I'm wrong. It's the same fish. Yeah, 
Hee hee. After a bit, there's no point of getting more crystallariums and iridium sprinklers are just meh. So it's like, I just save them for the crafting later because you need quite a few for crafting. Are the are the golden wall that's now random for fishing? That wasn't the normal pattern, was it? You gotta unlock the trinkets. You gotta unlock being able to equip trinkets. To get the fairy. Yeah, that was one after e each other. Did I get all five golden walnuts from fishing? Fourteen months. Looking for the fourteen ones. I need a tail still. Counted four. Okay. I still need the tail anyways, so it's kind of fine. I'll wait for these golden spots to show up. I didn't really do this earlier, but... Because I need this banana tree. Now it's kind of a waiting game, because I'm just waiting for the golden spots to show up, so I can pan them. I don't know how long I really want to wait over here, though. I have a decent chance of spawning every, uh, tech. Does the artifact totems work on water? That would be actually great. That's annoying.
Not very. Well, I mean, I'm not very, but I'm also kind of getting there. I really should build the coop here soon and get the rabbits going ASAP. Probably do that in winter. Ah, yeah, but then I have to sleep another full year still. I should do that, like, now. I can start gifting in spring. a while ago. So weird that having debris there. Yeah, I got the rabbits now. I should switch perks. I'm kind of fine on money. I don't need to buy anything anytime soon. Check a lantern crafting. Um probably. I'm going to assume the new... Uh, I'm actually going to... Yes. There's kind of a lot of different areas that it could be. There's kind of a few different areas. I really need to get the... <laughs> the main reason I'm doing... Uh, trying to get this, like... Thing. Do golden crackers matter? Eh. They're kind of cool. <laughs> Probably won't be that useful now. I was gonna set these all up on Friday, I guess. They're, they're cool to get if you get them before you set up rabbits, but it shouldn't matter now. Yeah. They definitely make animals quite a bit better, but... Well, I should I should rephrase that. They make specifically ducks and or they basically specifically make uh rabbits better. I don't even think they make ducks better because it doesn't matter on chickens since they produce every day, right? Unless if they now produce two a day. If they produce two a day on on golden chickens, they're broken. Golden chickens were already really good. But I just assumed it, like, cut the amount of days it needed to yield by by half. Is my assumption of how it worked. Uh, 
But I guess that would make chickens and golden chickens kind of bad since they produce every day. They make ducks produce every day and rabbits produce every other. But I don't, but if it like actually like doubles their drops, that's crazy. I know it says output, but you guys can never trust what CA says because for years it said uh, a prospector doubled the coal yield that you get, but it didn't actually double the coal yield yield that you get. It just increases the odds of you finding coal by 7%. That's it. Not actually doubling it. Um... Yeah. And it only worked on rocks outside of the mines for, I tell them what, 1.3, 1.4? It didn't even work on rocks in the mines, only outside. It works on mines, it rocks inside the mines now, but it used to, it used to be bad. It used to be really fucking bad. As if you're wondering why the reason that I specifically bring, generally speaking, rocks have a 7% chance of dropping coal. So yes, if it... Oh man, that went away as soon as I got there. So in theory, having a 7% increased drop chance doubles coal. But here's the thing. Sometimes rocks drop more than one coal. It doesn't make it go from two... Like, let's say a rock drops you two coal. If you have Prospector, you won't get four coal from the rock. That's not how it works. So it doesn't double it. It just increases your odds by 7%. So at, like, mining level 10, if you break one of the gray rocks in the mines, it has a chance of dropping, like, four pieces of coal. You'll get one extra piece. You won't get eight. It's not doubled. And that's how Prospector currently works. I'm curious how Prospector works on the coal nodes, if it even does. I kind of doubt it, but... We shall see. If you're wondering what I'm doing, I'm waiting for... Uh, panning spots to show up, because I need a... I need the tail. I mined at least two muscle nodes and got none. Yeah, that's uh, great. Great odds of you getting it. What professions have I chosen? Artisan, blacksmith, botanist, pirate, acrobat. Really, only ones that matter is acrobat and artisan right now. Botanist is kind of just for quality of life. I will be switching my artisan uh, profession here in a minute because I need rabbit's feet. I knew it spawned behind this tree. Like, I heard it spawn, I just couldn't see it right away.
Can you upgrade your pan? Yes, sir. Where, how do you upgrade it, Clint's? Clint's can just upgrade your pan. You can enchant it too. Oh. Iridium pan lets you pan anywhere you want. How do you get that then? Do you just upgrade it at Clint's? Upgrades at Clint's. Is it, do I only have to do one upgrade or do I have to go through iron gold as well? They give the mystic syrup. Okay, then that's kind of bad. The only thing you need the pan for is the thing I don't it's like it's just get lucky forehead I don't know how else to put it mail mirror is like 20 damage it's terrible but you can uh put it over any sword overlay Um, here. Yeah, but it doesn't do damage in this game. That's a first. I have not had 1.6 crash on me like that. Two eggs per day is kind of good. No. Why? <laughs> what a trade. <laughs> the trade offer to all <laughs> to end all trade offers. <laughs> Can I wait? How do you mass buy? Let me mass buy rabbits, god damn it. Uh, I did not. I forgot that I actually had to do that. This Jojo doesn't exist. CA didn't add a way of getting 
the auto petter easier, did he? This is why we always do Jojo Mart. How many ladders do I have? Wouldn't it be that bad to reset for it? Yeah. I'll have to wait until the spring for it, which is a little long, though, piano. I don't really want to wait that long. More of the issue. I do have a magic rock candy that I can use, though. I have a few staircases left. I got like 60. I can just use that with the magic rock candy. I'm gonna need to craft a, a, a tent though. How do you get the ginger ale recipe? Oh, so I should have bought it already. Moss soup. Sugar three ginger. Um, yeah. I wanted something else. for silo i was trying to think of something else oh yeah staircases where are they 61 um oh yeah then i need to go buy key seasoning has anybody ever beaten stardew jumpless <laughs> i can't i don't know what cutscenes you actually jump in <laughs> Stardew Valley with zero presses. You should be able to... You should, in theory, be able to beat Stardew Valley without any keyboard presses. You have to move everywhere by via scythe. <laughs> How far can you get? <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha! 
do it? No. Scythe and chairs, yeah. They can't load into warps with a scythe? Oh, right. Ah, uh, never mind then. Mines would be atrocious. I don't know. Much longer stream? Uh, yeah, I don't know. Uh, is there any? Oh, I don't have, I don't think I have an extra rabbit's foot. I was going to say, is there any way to get any extra luck? I don't have the extra rabbit's foot. I mean, I could wait until I get the plus one luck from the statue. I buy silo and perfection runs because I generally just end up sleeping and I don't want to pet them every day. So, yes. Am I really going to build a tent, or am I just going to desert warp? I'll probably just desert warp. It's really not that much worse. Eh, you know what, actually, I have to craft one, right? What is it? Fiber hardwood cloth. I'm not gonna know what the daily luck is, which kind of sucks. Where do I organize my ginger? I do have a rabbit's foot. I probably should bring the statue with me, but I'm just not going to. What are the odds that I actually get plus one luck? For daily luck. Yeah, there's another issue I was thinking about. Nah, 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 I guess I would have to save scum so that wouldn't work. Bring a few tents. I don't really want to craft more tents. I'll probably just start at the house. really go feed the animals, but it's fine.
Bad luck, but I got plus one luck. What do you need luck for? I need auto putters. Because I didn't go Joja. I want to be able to just sleep and not care about the rabbits because I need a bunch of rabbits feet for gifting. I just want to not care about them and just sleep days. So yes. Because otherwise I won't get iridium quality rabbits feet. I specifically need iridium quality and I just bought them. It takes too long. Well, I mean, honestly, at the rate at which I'll find an auto petter, it'll probably be faster to manually pet them up to five hearts. But it's funnier. I don't really care. Let's be real. It slowly increases it, yes, especially if you have uh, the animal perk like I do. Main thing is iridium rabbit's feet for gifts. Uh, it's like almost 250 or something. not that money I realistically should have made more but it's fine Uh, well, I'm not allowing myself to do the new JoJo stuff because it's kind of cheaty and kind of breaks the point because it's just how fast can you make 50 million gold? Uh, let me just tell you, making 50 million gold is pretty easy. How's the run going? It will be going great as soon as I get an auto petter. <laughs> File. For those wondering, yes, this is the best way to get an auto petter if you have not gone, uh, Joja. No, nope, that's vanilla. I am not playing with any mods whatsoever.
is all 1.6. get it reset the day to get all our resources back it does give the as far as I'm aware now there might be a funny way though that I'm just unaware of Uh, the, in theory, the fastest possible time you can get perfection now is 120 Stardew days. Without paying for any of the JoJo waivers. The JoJo waivers kind of just break perfection in a lot of ways. But without the JoJo waivers, the earliest you can do it now is 120 days. That's the wrong one. The only thing that you're required to get in year two now is literally Kent to 10 hearts. I'm pretty sure. Can you get golden animal crackers from that now? You would still have to wait a day for uh, him to gift you the recipes uh, piano, so it wouldn't even be able to be done in day one. You'd have to wait another day as well anyways. And then... Uh, actually, wouldn't you have to wait like a few days? Because it'll take him a few days to give you the recipes. Because he can only give you one recipe a day, I think. Yeah. So you would still have to wait, like, a day or two. <sighs> There's probably something else we're also forgetting as to why it's eight days. Because I somewhat trust Algo with this timing, but I don't know. Surely we'll get the auto petter soon. Statue in the house, dude. It gives you a random blessing. It can give you anywhere between move speed to attack power to infinite stamina to luck. Kind of cool. You have to go JoJo to buy the perfection waivers, right? Because I actually haven't even seen where you buy them from yet. No. Where do you even buy them? Or is it just that parrot? I mean, I, like, I saw the parrot and kind of just ignored them. Oh, I haven't gone into the mushroom cave. <laughs> it tells you how useless I think, think of it. Wow, I only got 
like one treasure floor, unless if I skipped a few. I just completely ignored the ginger island and cave. I don't read letters, so. I don't know why it's not letting me click. Not letting me click. That bug is. You also don't look. No, I looked at it once just to see if there was anything not different. So I should actually get them. Funny enough, I looked at it once. I committed the sin. I committed the sin of looking at the perfection tracker. You can post a clip, but ideally it's from this stream, unless if you're trying to show me something. Parrot lets you buy the remaining nuts. I'm pretty sure I have all the nuts now. The only nuts that I needed left were the museum one and the fishing pretty sure i got them all i know auto patterns are supposed to be rare ca but it's like you got you gotta allow us to get a way to get them ourselves oh we gonna reset the day i have like a hundred plus bat wings Already, I'm not too concerned about it. It might be in the golden mystery box pool. I just don't have enough of them. Yeah, I'm looking for an auto putter. I got, as I said before, it was probably more a better use of my time to just manually pet them up to max friendship. Since it will like, since looking for this auto putter is a nuisance. If I was at Joja, if I went Joja, the Joja route, I would have just bought it. Obviously, but... I don't want to have to think. Oh, it's got cowboy hat time. You know, we probably won't get to keep it. It's a trinket. They're not always pets. There's a few pets, but... They do different things. There's a frog that just eats enemies nearby every so often. There's a parrot that gives you money whenever you kill something. The fairy heals you in combat. Uh... Much as I enjoy the 30 bombs, can I get the auto petter? Uh, I think the fairy is probably the best. I think people are going to overrate the parrot and say, oh, it's free money. But it's like, unless if it's giving you thousands of gold per kill, it's not going to be good. Or maybe I'm just wrong. 
How much money could you get a day if you're just mass killing a, an infested floor? Worth of slimes. Yeah, there's a trinket that fully prevents debuffs, but that's what mermaid's boots are for. And it's like, at that point, it's still you still have to kill so many enemies to get, like, actual decent money out of it. Uh, I don't know. I might just go until I have the rabbit set up, and then I'll worry about friendship tomorrow. What's the end goal of this run? Perfection. Yeah. God, no, I'm not in year one. Not in a speedrun like this. I mean, you can easily have the setup that I have right now in year one, but it would take so much longer to do. Takes so much longer to do. Red Hat returns. Petition to be able to to add a second hat to the trinket slot to give up your trinket slot to just put another hat on your hat. I don't use mods. Oh, well, we got the red hat back. Red hat time. Trying to find an auto putter. That's yeah, just called the Mystic Cowboy hat. It changes colors. It's a fairy, and I got it from killing enemies once you have unlocked the secret door. <laughs> it heals you while you're in combat. Probably not. Can you try C? I th it was only in the morning, it felt like. It was fine afterwards. Nah, I still gotta go to the spooky festival. I'm kind of just being lazy about it because I don't want to wait the, like, eight minutes. I do not have hay in my silo, and I'm going to go and get my hay because it's all on Ginger Island. What does the tent kit do? You can make a house wherever you want outside and sleep in it.
Oh, good. You can actually see which ones. Alright, I'm trying to think of what I really need to be doing next. As I do that, I'll just artificially boost the happiness of my pets, even though I have an auto putter. Um, so I'm setting up these rabbits for friendship. I'm hopefully going to start friendship in spring. Uh, I hopefully have... I'm probably missing a few crafting recipes still from various areas. Like, I still need to buy the Robin's recipes. I still need to uh, get fi 50 cinder shards for the deluxe thing. So I still got to go do that. Um, Yeah, I got to do Squid Fest at one point here. Because there's a book from Squid Fest. Uh, I gotta go get the rare discs soon. Gotta get all the rare crows next year as well. Yeah. I think with the new update, I should, in theory, be able to only have to gift each NPC twice instead of three times. With, uh, there's a new power book that you become friends a little bit faster with people. So it actually should be quite a significant boost. No, it's not. It's still a pain in the ass. A little. I think it I think it was like 20 30% increase. It's like a lot. Is it 10? What is the 20 or 30%? I know there was a 30% increase. It's just 10. Still an extra 10 for an 800 bonus gift. All right, I have gold quality. Yeah, you do the Luau too for the two years. I need to get that achievement anyways, so. Oh wait, I can't go out today. I can't even get to the island. Uh, it's perfection, but I'm picking up the Steam achievements as I go, since a lot of them are kind of, like, on the way. I'm probably not going to be streaming much more, though. Man. Coral roots, though. Hey, this is the last bulletin board quest I need to do. I have all the others finished. I think you could probably still do it in less than a day, but it'll be hard.
I only have 72. Yikes. Ah, fine, I'll do this today. Even though I don't... Nah, I want to sync it back up. I hate when it's not on, like, a normal day. I'm probably going to sync this back up on Friday and then just call it a day. Laser eradication is completely done now, yes. That was like one of my main focuses today. Laser eradication is done, though. Really just need money, friendship, and then the crafting shenanigans. The crafting is probably going to be the worst part because I don't know if I will have all the crafting recipes. And if there's a new one that I do not know about, it's going to be a nightmare to find. Crafting is by far the scariest part about the new, uh, perfection. I really should just take off the fairy, shouldn't I? So many people ask about it. Aging wine, it does, but it's not worth it whatsoever in a speed run. It's not, it doesn't increase it by enough, and it takes too much time to set up. Uh, but yeah, a little bit of a shorter stream today, but I don't want to burn myself out. I'm enjoying Stardew, but you know, playing it for like you know 13 hours straight is not generally the best idea. Even though today's only been four, and that is fine. I kind of want to get food. It's a nice Friday. We've been going all week. Maybe. I don't think I'll finish it up tomorrow, but we should do friendship tomorrow. We'll probably finish it up on Sunday at this pace. Uh, but yeah, that will be it for me today. I need a break. I need food. I am gonna peace. That's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, this is specifically towards YouTube since I rate on Twitch. But YouTube, thank you for watching. Thank you for watching the stream i am going to peace out uh yeah i'll be back on tomorrow doing more of this we'll probably finish up on sunday if you miss tomorrow 
Uh, but yeah, I do appreciate you guys watching. Appreciate you guys have. I hope you guys have a great rest of your Friday, great rest of your day. Stay safe out there and just take care. Later. Peace. Uh, oh. So many people just asked about the ferry today. I I just. <laughs> The fairy, the fairy, the fairy, the fairy. Yo, is that fairy a mod? That's a mod, isn't it? It's a mod. It's not like 1.6 just added a bunch of stuff. Whoa. Yikes. Who do we want to raid? Do we want to raid Algo or do we want to raid Joe? How are you guys feeling today? Who's that Pokemon? Pete. Pete's doing. Pete's at one point five though. I don't. No. Wait, Therm. Is Therm even streaming? I didn't even see Therm streaming. I'll go. It's a mod, sure. Joe. We never get to raid Joe. I raided Joe. I raided Zanji the other day as well. Fine, I'll raid Joe. I know Pete is streaming, but I love how my copy and paste still had my uh, Discord copy and paste on it. All right, Joe. Fine. Be streaming for five more hours. You can raid me. Uh, I'm sure Joe or Algo will raid that much longer. Whatever. I'm gonna peace. I appreciate you guys watching. Appreciate you guys supporting the stream. I will be back. I will be back on tomorrow around the same time and we will probably be doing a lot of the friendship stuff tomorrow and probably decide who we're marrying tomorrow even though i'm gonna put it up to a, a spinning wheel instead of chat vote this time because it's funnier to see everybody rage about not getting their favorite spouse being married by a uh online personal entertainer or online streamer <laughs> instead of just doing it themselves Marriage roll, yeah, whatever. Anyways, appreciate you guys watching. Hope you guys have a great rest of your evening. Great rest of your Friday. Stay safe out there and just take care. Later. Peace.